Good morning. Today we are going to the city of Cliss, where Cliss Fortress is. It was one of the locations that Game of Thrones filmed in, in Split. And it was used as the city of Marine that Daenerys was based in for season four. So, kind of excited. We're at the HNK bus stop in Split and we're buying a ticket for the local bus to Cliss Fortress. It turns out we were actually at the wrong bus stop, but thankfully we had our ticket, so we just ended up needing to run for about five, ten minutes to get to the correct one so we could get the Line 22 bus up to Cliss. We've made it to Cliss Fortress, but look at this view of Split from here. How incredible. And it's amazing that you can see the yellow flowers down below that the town was named after. Same view, better angle. You be the judge. Tickets were all of 10 euros each. Do the views of Split keep getting better the higher we go, or is it just me? This was initially constructed by the ancient Illyrians who lived here prior to the Romans. So, based on the fact that Rome officially annexed Illyria in 9 AD, then this construction, or at least the foundations of it, are at least 2,000 years old. Nick couldn't hold it, so he's had to use the toilet in public. What I really like is that they have signs like this all around the fortress, so this one is telling you about the Game of Thrones history, but the other ones tell you about the actual history of the fortress. I'm not too sure these windows in the side tower are original. Whether you are a fan of your history, whether you're a fan of Game of Thrones, or you're just a really big fan of a good view, then this is worth it. 100%. And I mean, considering the fact that it cost us, what, three euros in total to get up here, and then it's 10 euros a ticket, then it's a very nice way to spend a few hours. So put Cliff's Fortress on your list if you're in Split. This is the official backpacker's diet bread, cheap Nutella, and jam. It's not the healthiest, but it will fill you up, and it is cheap. We're now thinking of walking along the promenade to this place here, which leads up the hill, and apparently Marianne has a really nice viewpoint of the whole city. So let's go check it out.
thought we were finished climbing like three times, but you have to keep going until you get to this mound with the flag on top. I get it, you have views on all four sides up here. the verdict. The view is great. Definitely worth coming up here. Just wish I wasn't so sweaty. What about you? Well, we don't need a gym. That was the Stairmaster of my dreams. Yeah, no, I think that it's totally worth coming up here. The view is incredible. But if it is the dead of summer, yeah, I'd think about it. Maybe at night. We've just come back down and we're walking along the promenade back to our apartment before we head out for dinner. Good morning. Last night we ate at a lovely place called Canova Cardioza. And I specially picked that place because the menu offered a variety of traditional Croatian foods. It also wasn't too expensive, and that's been a problem we've been facing since Zadar. It seems like restaurants are quite pricey around the Dalmatian coast. And so the location, the price, the reviews were not bad, and also the food they offered. And the food was great. So we were really gunning for another kind of traditional Croatian experience, because we have had black risotto in Zadar, but we were wanting to branch out and try some other stuff because we'd heard it was all really nice. So I ended up having what was known, I think it was called Pash de Tsada, I want to say. We get like two good cuts of braised beef with gnocchi in this amazing sauce. I, I still don't quite know what's in it, but it tasted absolutely fantastic. And I had the octopus salad, which was very light and fresh had olive oil, probably some lemon, and some vegetables on the side, so I feel healthy again. <laughs> I'm sorry that we didn't film a massive amount from last night. We ended up meeting this couple from New Zealand, got along really, really well, and we basically we were just wrapped up in really nice conversation with them. So I only really had an opportunity to show you the restaurant front as well as show you our meals because we just wanted to enjoy the time. But today is our last day in Split. Hmm. We are heading to Dubrovnik, but not before we check out one more Game of Thrones filming location. That's right, we're going to another part of Diocletian's palace that we haven't explored before. I'm not sure is the exact terminology, but it's kind of the basement level. And this is where I think Daenerys kept her dragons mm -hmm. and there were a couple of other things that were shot there as well. serve as the substructures, that's the correct word for it, for the whole of Diocletian's palace. So essentially the floor plans were exactly the same on the bottom as they were on the top. But the reason that these were so well preserved is that for a very long time these were just used for sewage and waste. So as a result, because that's where all of the garbage was, then no one had any inclination to go down there, so actually it's kept the preservation for quite some time. And that's why now we're able to enjoy it 1700 years later, which is fantastic. Yeah, I'll just echo what Nick said about, I find it interesting that because it's so well preserved on the bottom, they know that their building technique 
to make the building so strong was that the bottom is the exact same shapes and rooms and size as it was on top. So even though the top layer is pretty much gone, not preserved at all, they know like the function of the rooms and the layout and everything because the substructures are so well preserved. And our tour guide yesterday even said that because it's so strong, it can support the weight of their 10-story building Ten on top of it, even to this day. Absolutely crazy. But that really is our time in Split, which is crazy. It's sad to be leaving this place. It's been absolutely beautiful and it's treated us very well. But the next stop is Dubrovnik, which we're equally excited for. Exactly. So we've got a little bit of time just before we grab our bus, uh, so we're just going to enjoy coffee and chill. But until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>